Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn on and off your lane keep and lane follow assist in the 2022 Kia Forte. I have in front of me here an EX Plus IVT in Snow White Pearl. Let's get started. Okay, so to start us off, the lane keep assist button used to be on to the left side of the steering column here in this cluster of buttons, but they've gone and moved it. And now it's on the right side of the steering wheel here and they've combined it with the lane follow assist. So right now I happen to be on the lane keep assist screen on the instrument panel and the system's all grayed out because nothing's on right now. So if I were to press and hold this button for about three seconds, you're gonna see the little forte in the middle there lit up and then you'll see the little the lane keep assist symbol at the bottom there. Again, it's also grayed out because the system is on, it's just not activated because right now I'm not moving. Now if I were to just push the button once without holding it, that's going to bring up that little steering wheel next to the lane keep assist and that's the lane follow assist. So both of them are grayed out because it's on but not activated. As soon as you, it's the vehicle's able to read both the lines in the road and you're over 60 kilometers an hour, those symbols will go green to let you know that they're fully assisting you. So the lane keep will keep you away from the line and physically move the steering wheel to move you away from it. Lane departure warning system would kick in if you started crossing over the line and the lane follow assist will read both the lines and keep you centered in the lane. Uh, usually best for when you're using uh, your cruise control at higher speeds. So grayed out right now is on, but not fully activated. And again, if we were just to push the button once, that's to turn on and off the lane follow assist. If you press and hold the button for about three seconds, then that turns on and off the lane keep assist. You can also still use the buttons on the right side of the wheel here to navigate through to the user settings, go into driver assistance, and then you can go into lane safety, and then you have the option of not having the system on, just letting you know with lane departure warning if you're crossing over a line, or having it fully assist you by audibly alerting you if you're crossing over, um, or moving you if you're getting close to the line. And that's how you do it. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and go ahead and subscribe and select the notification bell so you stay up to date with all of our videos. Also go ahead and give us a follow on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All of the links are in the description below. Thanks guys.